majority go crazy. Guys, it's Jay the Rat Specialist. Today I'm out here with my boy Jaime once again, washing up the slab. And I just noticed I got this big crack on my windshield. See this? It was not there yesterday. If I go up there, I can see where it happened. Look at that. Then it goes all the way up here. Crazy. I wonder if that could be fixed or if I gotta switch out this whole windshield. It's gonna cost the whole car for it. Somebody need to sell me one for a hundred bucks. Even if it don't have that little thing right there. But yeah, we're getting ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow is a capo or a slab holiday, whatever they wanna call it. We wanna pull up and get some footage. I remember when I had the, the swingers, they were like poking like this much. Baby. Hey, and I thought they were poking hard. I was like, man, I'm about to hit something. <laughs> they were like supers or something. They were regulars, like 20 inch regulars when they first came out. I think they were like this, they were like four inches. And we were like, man, they poking hard. And I had supers. <laughs> and now they got these super crazy long ones. Literally taking up the whole, the whole lane when you're driving. Yeah, man, looking good. I guess too lazy to clean mine. I'm gonna have to go tomorrow in the morning. Unless I decide to do it right now, but I, I don't really feel like it. And man, tomorrow I'm a little bit scared because every time I go to Galveston, I get a flat, man. Every time. There has not been one time that I've taken this car that I don't get a flat. So I got some new tires, but we'll see what happens tomorrow, man. That's the only thing that scares me going over there, because every time I go, I get some kind of flat for some reason. But these are some brand new tires. We'll see what happens. And then I did this yesterday. I don't even know how, because I don't remember hitting anything. Time to get swing is main. Put some G20s on here. Nah, but I do like these, it's just that I just keep getting flat every time I go to Galveston. It's just like a place I can't go to. I could go anywhere else. I'm, we're super far right now. And everything's good. But the moment I go to Galveston, I get a flat. Ready for tomorrow. Shined up. Way better than it was looking when I pulled up. Let's we'll see the other one. I already know it's dark in here. But that paint looks shiny. Glass. It looks like I'm facing the roof. <laughs> So I just made it home. It's like what, 10:30 uh, p.m. We were out there all day, and uh, everything went well. I'm really happy. No flat tires. You see that? Same tire. No flat tire today. For the last five times I went, I got flats. Except today, everything went real well. A lot of people were taking pictures. A lot of people were taking video, and I'm really glad because I do this for advertising. This is a, this is pretty much the main reason I got this car. But big shout out to my little brother. He went with me. Also, congrats to my little brother Kevin because. Uh, he also graduated in 2020, so he's graduated a few days ago from Westbury. So big shout out to my little brother and thank you for coming through and helping me record these videos. And uh, I'll keep posting for you guys. Let's see what else I record. All right, so here we are. I haven't really posted much on Instagram because I've been doing a bunch of cars for different shops. Most shops don't let me post what I'm doing for them. So I don't really be showing much uh, lately. But here's one that I just finished up yesterday and this one took like two days to do full wrap all in green some yellow on the door handles and some yellow on the 
back piece. It's a pretty crazy uh, combination, but that's what they asked for, so that's what I did. And uh, this one's pretty much ready. All I have to do is put the antenna back on the top. That'll take like five seconds, and uh, we might have to do this. I, I might give it a try, but I'm not too sure I'll be able to because I pretty much just have scraps of yellow, and they wanted a yellow. So we'll see what happens right now. I'll give it a try. But anyway, I do have a, a few more things planned. I also want to show you guys uh, the new spot that I'm beginning. I'll be moving there this coming month. So right now what I'm doing is prepping to move to the new shop. I'm really, really excited because there I'll be able to fit so many cars and I'll be able to take in a lot more work. I have a lot of plans. So I'm just getting everything prepped up. I'm already getting all the security done. I got cameras coming. I got my boy Andy. He's gonna install some cameras at the shop. I also have the insurance quotes coming in so that I can insure everything, make sure everything is on point. And uh, I can't wait. So I'll be showing you guys what I get and uh, where's the spot. I'll show you how to get there and everything. This piece is pretty difficult. It looks so easy, but it's really not. The only way to really be able to do it maybe easier would be if you could take it off the bumper, but that means you gotta take it completely off. And I mean, the car's already fully wrapped and then they want to add this to it. But uh, yeah, it did come out nice, but it was not easy. These colors remind me of Sprite. <laughs> that green and that yellow. Yeah, this one's pretty much ready to go. Uh, what they're gonna end up doing is also, I think, painting the emblems, like the back emblem and uh, the front ones. I'm not sure what else they're gonna do, but they're gonna do a few more things to it before the customer gets it. Took us about an hour. Crazy film. This suede. Way more difficult than laying any other color, like uh, the regular gloss black or matte black, sand black. But I still gotta do the trimming. But just laid uh, the whole piece down with Jose. So it's finished up. This took maybe, let's say, it's 11 a.m. So I think it took like two and a half hours, three hours, maybe, like three, I think. It takes forever to lay this down. And once you're done, I also forgot that the edges on this type of material doesn't want to stick. So it sticks like crazy in the middle, but on the edges it doesn't. So what you may have to do is use a lot of heat and you can use some promoter. Uh, it kind of sucks to use promoter, but sometimes you gotta do it, especially with this film. Uh, so what I did is I laid a little bit of promoter along the edge. It's gonna suck when you take it off because you gotta clean that off, but it doesn't do damage your paint. It's just a little bit more work. But for this material, you gotta do it. You just lay a lot of heat. I use a combination of both. I laid a lot of heat and some uh, promoter on the edges. But everything is done. Did all the edges, front, back, sides corners heated them like crazy um 
I also tucked it, tucked the material in a little bit more than usual so that it can hold better. And uh, it's good. You just cleaned it up, sprayed it down, and uh, should be good to go. It's crazy because I haven't used this material in like, I think like a year, maybe. The time I did it was either the Black Bands or uh, I think it was the Audi I did. Same, uh, this is the same brand, exact same type of material I used on Paul Wall's car. With him, we went with the red. Um, they also do off red and black. They got uh, blue. They also have gray. They just released gray like not too long ago. I have samples of those. I think I have some samples in my car. All right, so here we go. All right, so I got them. So these are the samples. Uh, I got a bunch of different colors. Anyway, then I got them all dirty. There's the black. And we also got candy. They got sand candy, gloss candy, different shades of the candy, the same gloss and sand, burgundy. A lot of people like that color. And that's the same one, but in gloss. Blue, they got blue candy, gold, all kinds of colors, carbon fibers. So I'm trying to find the other suede ones. I'm not sure where the gray is at, but here's the blue, the green suede. The red, but it's more like a burgundy suede. I don't, they don't actually have a bright red. And uh, that's it right there. They also have the gray one, which I, like I said, I'm not even sure what I did with it. It's not here. But yeah, if you guys are interested, let me know. This is where I keep all my samples. People ask me what colors you got. Take this out, I got like a thousand colors. So I can't name them all. I got a whole pack here for the chromes. These are all chromes. This is your 7500 stash right here. If you dig into this stash, you better be ready for that 7500 quote. But I got everything here. Every good brand. These are all good brands that I use. Uh, anything else that's not on here, I don't use. Um, so yeah, if anything, just let me know if you need something. Texas City now so random but there's no work today so I might as well go have some fun I'm on the way to meet up with my little brother Kevin his homeboy and uh, my dad he's gonna be up there so we're gonna go do a little bit of fishing see how it goes see if we catch something before it rains it feels weird because I'm over here driving and people are literally driving next to me staring <laughs> that, that's what happens all the time when I'm driving people literally drive directly next to me and they be just staring the whole time they probably like man look at this guy not paying attention but yeah we're gonna go get uh, see if we get some fish I also brought some uh, chicken so I can see if I use some chicken to catch some crabs or something I don't even think there's any crabs right now but we'll see usually around the early summertime it's, it's good but I'll give it a try. I still haven't been able to pass by my new shop. I want to show it to you guys. Just show you the outside at least because I still don't have the keys. I should have them uh, sometime either by the end of this week or uh, like Monday, Tuesday because I'm supposed to move out there uh, next week. Today I'm also supposed to set up the uh, insurance for it. Insurance is like crazy high, man. It's like almost four grand just to pay insurance for the shop. But what's what makes it worth it is that it covers everything like literally anything that happens there is covered so that's a good thing I don't want to be over here all scared or worried about anything happening I'll be at peace that knowing that if anything happens I'll be covered so and that makes my customers also feel better but yeah I want to show you guys the shop hopefully uh, on this video also if you haven't yet I posted it yesterday on my Instagram follow the new shop uh, Instagram page it's at rap leaders rap leaders that's the name of the new shop and I'm gonna start promoting that name I want to I got my boy uh, Sergio making the logo right now he should have it almost ready and I'll be posting that so make sure you follow 
rap leaders on on uh, Instagram. The new website should be up and running real soon. So you do me that favor, man. Hit up the follow button on rap leaders on Instagram. All right, guys. So I took a few minutes because people kept calling my phone. But yeah, man, I had a guy get mad because I can't take his car in right now. Man, I'm always posting saying drop a deposit so you can be next in line because I stay booked like all the time I'm always booked usually I have two cars ahead or even three sometimes so what I'd be doing is I'd be on Facebook on Instagram telling people hey man if you want to get your car done put a deposit down and book your appointment even if you don't want to do it right now like that if you want to do it next month you'll be next in line so by the time next month comes in you'll be next up to get your car wrapped and you'll be ready to go because uh a lot of these people they'll call me hey man can i drop off my car today i'm like nah man you can't do that and if you do drop it off i can't start on it today because i got like three cars ahead of you so keep that in mind man if you want to get your cars done drop that deposit and schedule ahead of time just so like that when you're ready or whatever or you'll be the next one uh, as soon as possible as soon as I could get you in the sooner that deposits in the sooner you get in what's up guys so I'm like the worst ever at recording YouTube videos I got to the beach I got to Texas City and I didn't record anything <laughs> I pull up and I straight forget about my camera man but we were fishing over there we caught this weird snake fish my dad got it I don't even know how I didn't even know they had like snakes there. And then what's crazy is that thing was just like digging a hole with its uh, tail. I'm gonna try to upload a uh, video with my, from my phone. I got a little bit of video on it. But I definitely didn't record nothing with the camera, man. So my bad about that. But anyway, I'm over here on the way back to, uh, to the shop that I'm getting ready to get. So I just wanna show you guys where it's at. So I'm on 40, I was on 45 North. I just got off on 1960. When you get to 1960, you're gonna do a U-turn. There's some traffic right now because I came at the worst time. But once you do that U-turn, you're gonna see a Wells Fargo. As soon as you see that Wells Fargo, you turn right, and uh, it's gonna be like right there. I'll show you right now. This fool keeps calling me. But anyway, you do this U-turn. T. Bailey blowing up my phone, man. How do I turn down this? <laughs> You're gonna be mad right now. Anyway, you see this Wells Fargo? As soon as you see that Wells Fargo, you're gonna turn right. As soon as you pass it up, you turn right. And you're gonna go towards the back. It's gonna be right there on the left side. Be able to see it right there and that's gonna be it over there somewhere okay so i'm lucky that it's open right now but nice thing that it has a gate as soon as you go in you're gonna turn left and it's gonna be like the second one up here Three hundred one four b yeah so that's it right there I got my garage on the right side and I'll be able to fit maybe like six, seven cars, which is a good thing. Uh, a lot of space, way more than the other shop I had before, which is a really good thing, like an upgrade. And I also have a lot of parking outside, so I can't wait. Um, I should be able to work off of this location and be good. Let me put this on because it's going crazy. I, mean, I can't wait to move i don't have the keys yet so i don't show you guys the inside but i do have my boy uh andy he's gonna be setting up cameras we're gonna have cameras all over the place uh they're gonna be 4k cameras and i'm not gonna tell you all the details but i'll tell you one thing uh the cameras on the outside are gonna have license plate readers so no matter how fast you drive outside or whatever you try to do day or night those cameras are gonna catch uh license plates there's like super high-end cameras and uh, a lot of money is going into that but anyway oh i also got my uh new alarm system just came in i'm also going to have alarm with sensors all over the place and uh, crazy ass insurance yep i'm gonna make sure all my corners are covered and like that i could be at home chilling not be worrying about anything if a hurricane comes through 
Hurricane Harvey version number 10. <laughs> if it comes through and floods the whole place, I'm gonna be over there just chilling because I'm not gonna be uh, worried about anything. The insurance is gonna cover you, my customer and everything, man. So I'll be good. But yeah, this is the place. Can't wait to start up and open it and show you guys all the new projects I got coming up because I've been holding back on a few projects just to have them uh, be done at this location. So stay tuned for more videos. The next video is gonna be at the shop, man. Y'all make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that and drop a thumbs up on this video, man. Drop me a like. Share this video, man. I wanna see this video everywhere. Nah, but for real though, if y'all can, drop a like on the video. Also, make sure to follow my new rap page. It's gonna be called Rap Leaders on Instagram. So that's gonna be the name of the shop. Can't wait to have my logo ready. Man, this next video that's coming up is gonna be a good one. So we went out to the Ripe for Peace that was put together by Trey The Truth. Uh, Paul Wall was there, Bun B, and a bunch of other people. Uh, they did this event in remembrance of George Floyd and all the other countless victims of bad cops. Um, I also took my cousin David. He was the one getting some good footage for you guys, different angles and showing all the different uh, cars that went, all the people. It was a big crowd and I'm really, really happy that I went out there and showed my support. Um, I feel like this isn't exactly a racial thing, but then again, I feel like most of it is racially motivated because I feel like a lot of these cops just do this, this stuff because of minorities that they see or whatever. But even myself, I've dealt with bad cops in the past and it's crazy because when I was younger, I used to deal with it so much being out there in the hood and uh, for no reason, like they just pick on you and they do stuff they shouldn't be doing because that's why now I feel like these cops should really get dealt with. They should not be getting away with doing a lot of stuff. But there is a lot of good cops, so I don't feel like it's a people versus cops. I feel like it's more of a people versus bad cops. And uh, bad cops should be dealt with. So I'm happy that I showed my support. Um, I was out there. We did a ride for peace, so what we did is drive around Houston all together. And uh, we came together. Even though it was raining, we didn't let the rain stop us. We still made it happen. Uh, Trey the Truth was out there up front with Paul Wall and all the others. And uh, we got some good footage. I'm happy I went. Thank you everyone. If you went out there, thank you for showing support. If you didn't go, but you were still sharing and still uh, making your voice be heard, thank you. I feel like everybody needs to come together and uh, make change. So y'all make sure to check it out.